what moment it caused at the ground due to the 245.25 Newton load shown in the picture. We can do this either by the scalar method or by the vector method. Either one should give us the same answer. So, if we want to use the scalar method, we can break the 245 Newton load up into its component pieces. So, the hypotenuse will be 245.25 Newtons. The legs here will be that force times cosine 30 and times sine 30. which is 122.63 Newtons to the right and 212.39 Newtons down. So our force is equal to these two components. Now this component, the one that acts down, acts at a distance away from the ground, a perpendicular distance of 4 meters. The 122.63 Newton load acts at a perpendicular distance of 10 meters. This one, the 212 will tend to spin the ground clockwise. The 122 will also tend to spin the ground clockwise. So the moment is going to be the sum of the forces times their perpendicular distances, which is 212.39 times 4 plus 122.63 times 10, 2,075.8. To use the vector method, your R vector goes from the point of interest, which in this case is the ground, to the point of application of the force. So in this case, R is 10J plus 4I. F we need in its Cartesian component form as well. That's going to be negative 2.2. 212.39J plus 122.63I. Now we can take the cross product. The moment is R cross F, not F cross R, R cross F. So you have I, J, and K. The R goes on top, 10J and 4I. The F goes on the bottom. So the I component is 122.63. The J component is 212.39, negative. And there is no K component. So you take that cross product. Your I and J components both have the zero, zero, so there are none of those. And your K component is exactly what we had for the scalar formulation up at the top in the negative K direction. So you're going to have minus K times 2075.8. In each case, you've got 2.08 kilonewton meters. That's the moment at the ground. And in either case, you can either say this is in the negative K direction, or you can say clockwise or you can put a little arrow like that, but you have to give three significant digits, units, and directions.